everybody, Joshua here with Johnny Appleseed Organic, and today we're going to do a walkabout in a planting that I'm really excited about. In this planting, we have a series of consortiums that we're testing, both in the annual vegetable production and in the tree rows. In the tree rows up top, we have our blueberries, uh, rabbit eye blueberries, pecans, Eucalyptus macartheri, Satsuma citrus, Satsuma oranges, and different varieties of bananas, mostly Orinoco, Tall Namwa, and Saba. Those are the varieties that we're working with here. There also are a few Thai blacks. And we're, we're testing these all these varieties out to see which ones work best in our climate. On the tree rows also, we have um, oh, an Ohakan green corn, we have provider bush beans, and what I'm really excited about is we're trialing out jack bean on our on the edges of our tree rows, which is really interesting. We're also put it, we also put in some Parkinsonia aculata. I think that's the species name. I might be butchering it. And then we have some Sesbania punicea and some Sesbania vesicaria and some Sesbania exaltata. I'm, I'm really interested in the Sesbanias right now. And then we're doing some Albizia julibrisin. We have some of that seeded into there also. So there's, there's a lot going on in a rather small space. It's really exciting. Here we have a crop that I'm really interested in and I've been interested in aeroids and taro for quite a long time. So here we have a Bunlong Wu taro that I, I ran a trial on in Florida last season and it was an underperformer, but seeing as I have, or we have wetter feet here than I did in Florida, um, I think it, it will perform better here than it did there. It's one I'm super duper excited about and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it does. Bun Long Wu Tara. Here we have some bush beans, the provider bush beans. I was able to get a bulk order and seeds are kind of hard to get right now, so you'll hear me talk about provider bush beans a lot in here. And then we also have uh, some Tennessee white okra. And the goal is for the okra to hold a higher uh, strata than the bush beans do. The, the okra is a little bit thick right now, so we're gonna have to come in and thin within the next few days, but it's looking good so far. We have some ginger. These are tissue culture gingers. Um, they're looking a little bit weak right now because we had an untimely frost, which I'm not super happy about, but it is what it is in a consortium with provider bush beans. And um, this is the Ohawk and green corn again. I think this is actually a seed mix with Ohawk and green and it also has um, like the jewel corn. I think it's called jewel corn. Um, eventually the, the, the corn will be cut out and the beans will die back for the ginger to come through. From there, we have a tree row right here and you can see our blueberries. We actually want, we had blueberries planted up, up the hill a little bit from here. And what we wound up doing is transplanting them all out. And some of the staff were really afraid that we were gonna kill them. And I, I had to assure them that they would, they would grow for sure. And they have, they're, they're coming back really nicely. And these three beds, we, uh, I ran an experiment that I may or may not come to regret, but we'll see. We have bush beans. The provider bush bean and then right next to that we have you can't see it but there's a turmeric in the ground and then cabbage turmeric bush bean turmeric cabbage turmeric bush bean so on and so forth down the line and the goal is for the bush bean to create biomass and it'll be phased out and by the time the cabbage is up and harvested the turmeric will be up so we're stacking the space out in hopes that we'll create enough biomass to fertilize and mulch the turmeric when the turmeric's up and running. Right here, um, we have a series of, of plants that I'm super excited about. So we have the jack beans. And a bunch of my friends in South Florida and in Florida, and myself included, have been working with jack bean for quite a while and I was interested to see how it would do in Southern Georgia. And I've already got a really good piece of information from growing it here. And right after these germinated, 
we got 34 degrees. I would argue like maybe 30, 33. And there was a light frost on the ground and these guys made it. And I actually was expecting them to get completely toasted. I had written them off and I was preparing to actually buy more jack bean seed. And they made it through that. So that's a, for me, that's a huge piece of information to know that they can take that. Here we have some bitter melon and sun hemp. And the goal is for the sun hemp to outgrow the bitter melon and create a trellis for the bitter melon to grow on. Thank you for joining me in this video today. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on all the social medias. I'll see you later.